It is a deceptively simple act to mark a piece of paper. And yet, it is one of the most important things you can do. Today, you, as Canadians, can do something that millions in the world can't. I care about the future of the country for my grandchildren. I'm really hoping that moving forward, we can make the environment a priority. I don't think Canadians really realize how rich we are. It's your power, and it's kind of your responsibility. So just think about it. You get to choose who will lead you, who will steer the course of Canada's future. Ours is now a mature and confident nation no longer staring at our feet asking, who are we? We know who we are, but do we know what we want? In many ways, your decision today will decide what Canada continues to value, what road it should take, and what paths it should avoid. Canada stands, you stand, at a crossroads. A people of many roots, we are connected by the majesty and potential of our home. The eternal sea surrounding us. The great universe of trees stretching ever onward, uninterrupted. Great citadels of glass and steel driving toward tomorrow. Tracks of open space for open thought. Your home and native land. How will we govern this nation and share this incalculable wealth? What is the next stage for this great Canadian enterprise? So the answer to your question, why are we doing that? Oh, which is a call to once again... You heard passionate debate about values and vital interests. You've looked at your country and into your own heart. And now, it's time for you to answer a simple but pretty big question. What do you want Canada to be? Look at the big picture and listen to the people. I don't want to be a victim of circumstance. I want my future to be decent. Just do your job. This is your democracy. This is your country. And now that all of the arguments and appeals have fallen silent, Yours is the only voice that matters. The great engine of democracy is fired up, powered by your simple but all-important act of marking that little piece of paper. <laughs>